Hello everyone, my name is Senor Computer Man, and today I'm here with City Skylines. This, for those of you who do not know, this game is a city builder. What that means is that basically you start off with nothing, and you create a good little town that grows and grows and becomes like this ginormous city, and you have to like make sure you keep your money in order, you, you keep the people happy, a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, we're going to start this off right here you get you get the option to like put left hand traffic you know if you're one of those countries um, you can select like a whole bunch there's like different themes for each one I'm gonna go with the European theme just because I like the way it kind of looks and I'm gonna go with foggy hills here and I'm gonna rename the city to Lotus Falls because why not here we are it took a while, but this game's pretty big anyway, so I kind of suspected that. So here we are. This is our area for Lotus Fall. We can only build inside this perimeter, okay? Everything in this perimeter is ours. Later on in the game, you can buy more areas, but we have to unlock those first. Right now, we're just in the beginning little town. So I'm going to start off by going down here to the roads. you got to select this road here. And this way is in, this way is out. If you don't, if you can't tell the difference, if you zoom in close enough, you can see some arrows there just telling you. So, first things first, I am going to remove the music. I would like to apologize, guys. I don't know what happened there. Something just went weird. So, anyways, uh, I can't really remember what I was saying, but let's just get back into it and create the rest of the city. Okay, so we made a little zone over here, but I have to put off making an electricity for them just really quick. And the reason for that is because I want to get some other zones in here and stuff. Like here, let me just create This is like a big mess right now, in all honesty. I'm just trying to create some things here. Okay, we might need... I'm just going to plop a windmill down right there. Just so that it's all good for now. Okay, so see, that's going to start being made. Um, I'm going to put some more residential down in here. And I'm going to close off this road and put residential in there. Oh, I hate when that happens. Sometimes I like overstep it and it just gets in the wrong every time. I hate when this happens. There we go. That that should do it. <laughs> All right. Yep, see, this is what you always, it always comes down to all this stuff, like you need water, then you need electricity, it's a whole bunch of stuff that you can't really get yet. Alright, electricity should be getting to it, but they're still complaining about, oh, I didn't connect it, what the heck? But what about the electricity, the electricity should be getting there, look matched up and everything. There might not be enough electricity, is that it? But while I'm here, I am going to create zones here. Dang it! Okay. I'm gonna make this more of a industrial and then I'll make this like that that way that yep there it is see what happened is the electricity connects okay so I'm pretty sure if I make some more things here it'll dang
Okay. So if you put some more residential here. Oh, all right. So we got a little ha hamlet. That means our town is growing. All right. What else can we put here? Um, I'll get to the water in a second, but I'm gonna, I guess I'll just put more of this there. And I'm gonna put some of those down. Alright, that, that works. That seems to work pretty well. I'm just trying to figure out a way how to save enough money. And electricity is a problem because the availability has gone down. This over here is like a coal plant. Okay, it gives you a lot of power. I mean, not a lot, but a decent amount. But it creates a lot of pollution and noise. That's why I put it in the industrial zone. That way it doesn't bug any of our residents over here. And, oh boy, we need a trash place. Okay, I can do that. You can just plop it right there. Healthcare. I mean, it's not too high right now, but then again, I don't want it to get even higher. Um, I'm just going to put it right there. Kick the person out, but whatever. It's fine. We need a fire station because they're... Or fires places one right there would be great we need a police station so you know things don't get too crazy but right now the crime rate is pretty low um, but even then we need to get places like that uh, we don't have enough money for this yet so we're gonna have to wait a little right now we're not getting a lot of money so we need to relax on the spending because you can go bankrupt and then it's just over from there right there awesome oh come on the electricity didn't even connect okay I can fix this just by putting a couple residential zones with like that simple as that easy alright here's another feature is called making districts which right now is very small so I'm not gonna do it but you will see that in the future okay this place needs water now okay everything seems to be going pretty well so far um, there's some demand for other things like Ooh, there's a lot of demand for commercial actually hey we got tiny town you know we're actually pretty going pretty fast all right now let's see what else we have here um, ah what do you guys think we should do now I think we should build something like this okay and then build it like that we can connect these two then we can just put something in the middle like that then we can put some commercial stuff in there I think that'll be pretty good uh, maybe that'll get rid of the demand a little bit Yeah, it did. Yeah, it did pretty good on the demand there. Okay, so we're gonna need more water. Okay, water availability, availability, whatever. There's enough water. There's enough electricity for now. But people still demand a lot, thing, a lot of things, man. Okay, so we're gonna need a lot of more residential and stuff and whatnot. So what I'm thinking of doing is splitting it off right here and just making this its own thing.
Yeah, I think I, I think if I put residential in this zone here, it wouldn't be too bad. Okay, see here? Then we can buy whatever land. We can select this, we can buy it. We can buy it right now, but I'm not going to because I'm trying to save some money now. Okay. We're doing pretty well, pretty well. Um, there's demand for industrial now, but it's not too big. But still got it. It still has to be taken care of. That's what I kind of like about this game. Like, like um, the demands aren't that big. But, like, they still have to be taken care of because, it, like, in the long run, it'll just completely be the end of you. Yeah, there we go. That should take care of it. Hopefully. Alright, so here are some parks and whatnot. I guess, I, actually, I could put the park in here. That would cover great area. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Because parks are to keep people happy. You know, you don't want people to be upset because that would kind of suck. So I'm going to put a basketball court somewhere. Um, actually, I don't know where I could put this. The thing about it is that, like, Basically, everywhere needs to be happy. Like, even the industrial places need to be happy. Because I guess when co co-workers and workers of yours just take breaks, um, they like to go to the park and, I don't know, like, play basketball or something like that, you know? We have a new building! We have a high school for all of the education that we need. That's what the, okay, in the future, there are these things called offices where people work at and whatnot, and what happens there is that they need, people need to be educated enough to actually work there, so if they're not educated, then they won't do a good job. So what the schools do is they provide the proper education for those students, so a high school is perfect for what we need, and eventually a university, which is right there, which is what gets them to be in the office. That, that's what matters the most, the uh, university. Okay, we're running low on power again, but there's nothing we can do right now. We just have to wait it out because um, we need to make more money. Ooh, actually, we're losing money. Ooh, that kind of sucks. Okay, um, well, like, I'm not going to do anything right now. I guess I'll just make these uh, zones up there. Because I don't want to do too much because I don't want to lose all of the money right away because that would kind of suck. Um, what I will do, however, is I'll make this path. Where do we go? Okay, so there's these things called paths where you can like make little paths for people to walk through. That way, they don't have to go all the way around. Sometimes you can put it there. I put it near the parks mostly because I find it better. All right, look at all these people here. I actually have a mod installed that lets me go into the first-person mode. So yeah, they don't seem to be moving that much. So <laughs> whatever, it's fine. Kate Lewis, you have a boring life. All right, so. This is our little town for now. I'll have to see you guys next time, but thank you for joining me on this first episode of City Skylines. Next time we will be doing a lot more. We're building the residential, the industrial, and commercial. And hopefully people don't, you know, just completely leave and die this in the city. Because look, we're getting nine people per, like, week, I think. Yeah, weekly change. So, oh, it, yeah, but now we're, people are dying now. So... See you guys next time. I will try to maintain this 
and take care.